Welcome to the MBS Engineering channel. Today, we will discuss how to calculate the crane percentage capacity calculation in the upcoming slides. We will cover the required data and main components needed to calculate the crane percentage capacity. Next, we will be discussing how to calculate the crane percentage capacity. The following data are required to calculate the crane capacity in percentage. The first required data is crane capacity. Next, the second required data is materials weight. Next, the third required data is hook block weight. Next, the fourth required data is boom length. Next, the fifth required data is crane radius. Next, the sixth required data is the crane lifting angle. Next, the seventh required data is safe working load. Next, we will be discussing the main components to calculate the crane percentage capacity. When operating a crane, there are several vital components to consider. The first component is the crane capacity. These include the crane's rated capacity, which is the maximum load the crane can lift under optimal conditions as specified by the manufacturer. You can find this information in the crane's manual or load charts. Next. The second component is the weight of the load. It's important to ensure that the weight of the load you intend to lift is within the crane's rated capacity. Please refer to the picture for better understanding. Next, we will be discussing the main components to calculate the crane percentage capacity. When operating a crane, there are several vital components to consider. Next, the third component is, the crane boom length and angle. Other factors to consider include the crane's boom length and angle, which can significantly affect its lifting capacity. Longer booms or angles closer to the vertical can decrease the crane's lifting capacity due to leverage. Please refer to the picture for better understanding. Next, the fourth component is, the crane radius. Additionally, the distance between the crane and the load, referred to as the radius, is crucial. As the radius increases, the crane's capacity decreases due to the increased load moment. Please refer to the picture for better understanding. Next. We will be discussing the main components to calculate the crane percentage capacity. When operating a crane, there are several vital components to consider. Next, the fifth component is, the crane hook block. Crane hooks are crucial components in heavy lifting. They come in various types, each designed for specific tasks and applications. Please refer to the picture for better understanding. Next, we will be discussing the how to calculate the crane percentage capacity. Assume the following data to calculate the crane capacity in percentage. The first data is the crane capacity 100 ton. 
Next, the second data is the materials weight 10 ton. Next, the third data is the hook block weight 5 ton. Next, the fourth data is the boom length 28 meter. Next, the fifth data is the crane radius 10 meter. Next, the sixth data is the safe working load, SWL, as per the load chart 20 ton. Next, to calculate the crane percentage capacity formula is given below as. The crane percentage capacity is equals to hook weight plus materials weight multiplied by 100 and then the obtained value is divided by safe working load. Next, we apply the given data to the above formula, we get the crane percentage capacity. Hook weight 5 ton plus materials weight 10 ton, multiplied by 100, and then the obtained value is divided by safe working load 20 ton. Next, the crane percentage capacity is equals 1500 divided by 20. Therefore, the crane percentage capacity is equals 75%. Therefore, the crane percentage capacity is 75%. Please, note that if the obtained value is below 80%, it is safe for materials lifting. If the obtained value is above 80%, it is not safe for materials lifting, and we should choose another crane for the particular job. We hope this video has helped you understand how to calculate the crane percentage capacity. If you have any questions, please feel free to let us know in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. Thank you for watching.